Last week, the immigration office in Uganda declared that eight companies had been halted from recruiting people going abroad as Agnes Igoye, the Deputy National Coordinator Prevention of Trafficking Persons in the Ministry of Internal Affairs, explains. I'll start from Middle East Consultants, uh, and these are Tank Hill, uh, Tank Hill Road, Muyenga. We have Ryder, Uganda Limited, uh, the ones based in Bukoto. Uh, we have Al Said Agency Limited. Uh, these ones are in Chibuye, Salama Road. Uh, we have the Eagles Supervision Limited uh, in Mengo. Uh, there is Forbes Enterprises Limited in Chiwatule. Then we have Top Notch Recruitment Services. Uh, these ones, their license renewal has been terminated. Uh, there is Fly International Jobs. Uh, their license renewal has also been terminated. There is Sahara Recruitment Agency Limited from Ruvaga Division. And so, um, Ugandans, please don't go and use these companies. And if you see anybody uh, who has been, uh, uh, a a anybody working for these agencies, you know, pursuing you, please. Uh, make that Agnes has noted that they have received complaints from different people who had already made payments to these companies that have refused to release their staff. Migrant workers had paid money to the suspended labor recruitment agencies and they are worried will they get their money. So um, the response, uh, because we, we, we told them uh, if the recruitment agencies, first, first of all, there are guidelines. So the, the money is they, they are charged. You know, if, if it is uh, it's, it's according to the laws at gender, then let it be known. But if they are not refunding their money, they go to the nearest police station and then uh, bring that evidence to the coordination office for prevention of trafficking, and then we follow up uh, for assistance. In the same line of hindering the entrance of people into the country in a bid to enforce the COVID-19 restrictions, the spokesperson, the spokesman of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Jacob Siminu, has notified that there are foreigners of Eritrean origin that have been arrested in this regard and are to face the courts of law. At our border point of Busia, Yesterday we arrested 42 uh, illegal immigrants who were found in the country and this will be dealt with in accordance with the law. We found that they illegally entered, they hid their travel history, but they are also illegally in the country. And therefore, uh, we are processing them. Uh, in accordance with the law. This story has been compiled by Isachi Gongo for Channel 44 Prime News.